Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazrak. I'm your host, Mr. Mohandas. Karam Chan Gandhi lover, but we must talk about the state reorganization. The provinces of the vanquished reactionary states were organized in a predictably futile manner. Princes administered some, others fell under bourgeois control before venturing and debating what concrete political changes should be made to the societal structure for new domains. Congress must first decide how to administer the new districts. Moses and Maximus argue for large blocks of coherent ethno-linguist provinces, together forming the backbone of the centralized state, whilst the Hungarians take the opposite stance and recommend smaller sub-state entities controlled by local com village communes. Nero's industrialists favored middle-sized linguistic states modeled on traditional provincial divisions, while Dong's uh, anarcho-syndicalists suggest a union of council-driven provinces created by popular referendums. As the delegates, delegates take the floor, the first debate on the future of India is about to unfold. Totalism? Radical socialism, syndicalism, but more syndicalism. Or positive syndicalism because you can put it apart. But we're a radical socialists, so Powell should be given to the village commons, as we will do, or will continue doing, fate of the Delhi officers. The first order of business is dealing with the officers of the defeated Dominion of Delhi. Do we give them a place in our nation, or retire them before they can make further trouble? And what is next after that? Because this one gives political power and stability, which I love. But the issue of landlordism. Ooh. Ooh, what to do with the reactionary officers? Political power stability. Pre prevalent throughout non socialist India, but especially in the Princely Federation, the Zamandari system was a feudal institution of exploitation where landlords held economic and social power over our workers and farmers during on, on their fa working on the factories and uh, estates. With the liberation of our uh, suffering proletariat, Congress now has to decide what to do with the means of production. The Maximus argue for swift centralization. The Aguirians, as always, favor local village authority, and moderates demand a balance of central and local ownership, while Dong's wing suggests orthodox syndicalist theories of trade union control as a solution to the administration of the liberated economic institutions. Total state control over the states and factories. Let the local villages assume control of farms. Oh. Oh. We're going to lose a lot of political power. Uh, let's spend it first, because I want to at least continue coring more stuff, such as here. Now we have no political power. Um, the place of the Red Raj. We still need to core Sindh and Delhi. But it is, of course, 1942, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great year. I'm doing well, not bad. Could be doing worse. That's enforcing economic coherence, though. The Indian subcontinent is as diverse economically as it is ethnically and religiously. The merchants in Bombay and Karachi thrive on foreign trade through the streets of Hormuz and the Suez, while the peasants of the Gang Gangetic Plain toil mainly for themselves and the local communities. It is thus extremely complex to tailor, and an economic policy able to cover all the various business and enterprise strata. However, that is just what the Subhas Chandra Bose is proposing, envisaging a total state involvement in all layers of business. The Maximus claim that only such drastic measures can ensure the total eradication of the capitalist economy, and the substantiation of a truly egalitarian and socialist India, naturally. The other wings of Congress beg to differ. Yeah, we're going to keep going with more radical socialism, because that will give us more daily political power gain, which is... Very bueno. Integrate the Deccan states. A claim against Nepal, which, well, huh. Looks like we might end up in a war against Japan, but we're trying to get go to war with Bhutan, which maybe I should have waited because dealing with Bhutan. So, as the army finished off its last opponents, the military consequently took on the role as a force of occupation. This is, in some cases, discouraging for newly liberated brothers, as the presence of army patrols make us look. Uh, not as liberators of the proletariat, but rather as foreign invaders. Some voices in Congress call for more lenient strategy towards the new provinces, while others argue that a reduction of army units will inevitably pave the way for reactionary terrorists and guerrillas. People's police should oversee integration. 86%, my goodness. That's a lot. But we'd have some coffee to keep us nice and warm. Almost two PP a day, but status minority religious and caste rights. A veritable mass of patterns of ethnic ethnicities, religions, and caste subgroups, uh, groupings, Indian politics have always sway between the extremes of cultural accommodation and subjection. The Calcutta government has employed a wide variety of policies within their own territories to maintain the rights of the so-called untouchables. People ostracized from society on religious grounds found in mainstream Hinduism. All parties agree that minority rights are essential, however, the means of enforcing these in the far more traditional and conservative provinces recently liberated from the reactionary rule seem to be far more difficult to agree upon. As the Congress draws to a close, it is evident that this last issue would be invaluable for any of the, of the fractions who wish to secure a majority, or the factions. Radical, radical socialism. Not even just normal socialism, but it's radical socialism, but even then we're going radically supporting them in one way only. Radical, radical. Chile. Why are they canceling all the state? Oh, the Gears control. Congress? Congress. The case of the Delhi government's officer corps. 
Well, let's go and integrate the Deccan states. We get some cores. The nations of southern India must either join India unwillingly or be conquered. The choice is theirs. To the roaring applause of the Congress, the Mahatma Mohandas Karamchanda Gandhi has received absolute support for Islam by the party. It's hoped that Mr. Gandhi's conciliatory gestures will hasten the process of reuniting Mother India. Our great nation shall be healed by the mercy of the visitors. Or the victors. Not visitors. Victors. Yeah. Nice. The case of the Delhi government's after the court. The national government has finally dislodged the vast vestiges of British influence on this Indian subcontinent and forced a truly native system. The, who have truly enforced the native system of governance on the troublesome northwestern provinces? Some of the officers who were once swore loyalty to the Delhi government have expressed wishes to continue to serve Mother India, placing in the nation above political alignment. But if we enroll these men, we might face trouble from our own officers who resent serving alongside former enemies. No need for British lapdogs. No stability, but it gets more political power. Get more, better change of social conservatism. Well, I want maxed out Agarian or radical socialism, so. Mm, I guess we're getting Burma. We do want Burma. Go well. It looks like we probably have to go to war with uh, Japan regardless, so. We got quite, quite a few comments to go through as well, so. I do want to get that one too, but. Uh, we need every single man? No, honestly, not really. We'll be fine. So after that. Which one do we want to do? A claim against Nepal? Dealing with Bhutan. With the control over the Indian subcontinent secured, it's time to look to our northern border. New great powers are rising in China. We must secure a control over the Bhutanese kingdom as a buffer state in the Himalayas. We'll transform this reactionary backwater into a new social state, if forced by necessary, which is what Gandhi would totally support. Force. And I want to get Delhi next. I think that'd be good. Uh, a couple comments include, you could liberate Asia from the Japanese or the Middle East from the Ottomans, which is way probably better considering their war with Russia. Liberating China is also plausible and revive the uh, left KMT. Also, can you give all of Galicia to Poland so the borders look better? Thanks. Uh, this is one of the comments. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, these aren't great borders. I and mean, this is really disgusting. As how it's extending it all the way here. But I'm waiting for like Russia to actually like liberate these territories. Maybe they won't. But honestly, I kind of like... Well... Wait, what? Whoa. Hold on. Whoa. I was going to say I like the borders here. But never mind. Here. Eat them up. Have at it. Uh, do you have all of Portugal's? A, no, you don't have any of court state. Um, is there any way you can make that up? Be in Federation, coming to Mexico? Huh. This is disgusting, too. I'm not going to get involved down here, but... If we can help out the French, maybe we will later on, but... Oh, Ceylon. Oh, they're... Oh. Oh! They're national populists! And they're in the Japanese faction, which is not good. But they're international, though. They're national versus Moscow. I mean, we might want to go to war with them, too. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, they were really killing off Af Afghanistan. Good good lord. A new Russia. Twilight Struggle. National Hockey Man Co Command Formation School. They have Intelligence. Ukraine something. And Vakhovny Ekonomishik Soviet. All right. Well, whatever. Now, which one of these was my horse boys? Ah, I found my horse boys. Oh. Anything here? Not really. Anything here? No. Cool. Virginia thing is good. Uh, what else? Fuel? Eh, we've got some fuel because we can. Why not? Yeah, and then claims against Nepal. What else? Other comments? Oh, actually, look at all the political power we have. Delhi? Yes, please. Yes, please. Someone says, maybe Bhutan, they might attack you. You can nuke him if the fastest monk takes power. He'll get a decision whether or not to attack you or not. If he plays Bhutan, you get two factory gun problems to no resources to, to speak of. Yeah, it takes a long time to build anything. Um, I have to drop a nuke in this campaign. I, I kind of figured. We do have a divided Germany. Well, I do a Kakanovich TNO run. Technically, I've already played as Kakanovich two men before, so I'm going to say no for now. Um, I've had played some. I'm going to wait till maybe gets another update, so yeah. Dealing with Bhutan. i probably get a claims against Nepal, probably as well. We have the Prince of the Officers. You know, I do want that extra political power. That'd be really nice to get. Mm. Hmm. Let's do this one first. The Gangetic Plain is the main economic artery for Indian commerce and industry. The sooner the better the people come under. A complete control of Calcutta, the better. Nice. Nice. Keep doing that too. And how many days do we have until we have to go, can't go to war with them? Uh, we have a war goal. For now. October 7th. So we got, we got some time. We probably can get this one done maybe first and then we'll talk about it. Cool. Uh, cool. Someone says, am I going to do the totals and syndicalist paths? Eh, well, maybe eventually. Um, I don't like to play the nation immediately again, because that just... Because we basically just played it once, so I don't like to play nations immediately next. I mean, eventually, but not immediately next. 
Um, we'll keep building up roads. Roads are nice. Roads are very good to grab. Only 1.6 million people here. Let's keep building up our civvies because we could really probably use them. Go with one civvy and go with one million as well. 100% uh, are awesome. Nice. Cool. Alright. Dealing with Bhutan will be very good. Very, very nice. Let's see what else we have here. 1942. Uh, Mountaineers might actually be a really worthwhile investment, actually. So. Anything we really care about? Uh, sub threes? Yes, please. We're working slowly on that. Cool. And these ships are all just going to get sunk anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Or we just might just use it with that manpower. Yeah, let's do that too. Probably public support, which would not be bad. But yeah, 91% uh, party popularity. Pretty nice, not going to lie. Pretty darn nice. We do have a developed economy, which is really good. We have focus on defense, which is eh, not great, honestly. I don't like this one. Just for our world time is really bad. Especially since we do want to expand a little bit. But I'm kind of waiting for Russia and... Oh. Islamic State of... Oh, no. Happy Habibullah. Kalakani. Kalakani. Oh, boy. Well, that's not ideal. I'm waiting for these guys to try to kill these guys off. So, Pierre Rasmus. Ramos. Ramos. Franz Jakob. Fra Frulish. Dealing with the Hermit Kingdom. For years, Bataan existed on the periphery between the Chinese and Indian spheres of control, serving as both a gateway and a battleground between these forces. The backdrop of the foolish reactionary pissing match between the monstrous British imperialists and the Russian enemies, Bataan was brought into the fold of one of the old Raj as a means of crushing dissent in Tibet. When a revolution pushed the British and their princely leptogs out of the east, the Bhutanese came to us, offering to help us stabilize our northern border and prevent the Nepalese and Tibetans from taking advantage of our weakness. While we were busy with our enemies to the south and west, it was preferable to be at peace with our northern neighbors, as backwards and repugnant they may be. With the forces of reaction in India defeated, however, we should decide what to do with Bhutan. We could either leave the nation alone, maintain the status quo, or crush them, ending the reactionary threat on our border, as it stands. A small nation provides a nice buffer between us and China, though control over the Himalayan passes would be a lot better excerpt, would let, her, let us better exert influence to the north. Leave them be? Huh. Well, I mean, technically. We'll leave them alone, but not really. And again, the northwest. The northwestern provinces of India have been a stronghold of petty bourgeois interests, mixed with several reactionary princely states. The traders and industrialists of Karachi and Punjab particularly seem to oppose any radical change to the economic and societal changes we propose. We must tread carefully in order to secure their loyalty, or maybe we should be forceful. Force never was an issue for us. Or actually, your, your defense. Oh crap, I should put defense if we have whatever. Well, let's have a good time with them then. Cool. Can you guys actually do really well here? 77, what is this number? Oh, yeah, we're doing really well. I'll take their daddies. Then up to 10 battalions, up to 4. Okay, that's not bad. We're doing really well here then. We're working conditions, war propaganda against Bhutan would actually be really nice. And in the Northwest would be very good too. Oh, we won. Nice. Not bad. They didn't even have a thousand rifles. Yeah, they're very weak. And that's okay with us. Gives us a bigger board with Tibet. Big old Tibetan booties. Cool. Oh, do we have even more of this stuff now? Do we? What are we missing? Fighters, planes. Okay. All right. We're going to need way more aluminum and such stuff like that. But at the same time, let's go put some stuff here. And here, more rubber and stuff like that. Berar, not bad. And let's see if we can more. The fate of Bhutan. Uh, we, after a success, successful evasion in the Himalayas, we now have the task to establish local and new administrative authority in the order to release peace or store peace. However, right, there's several options for peace. Create a puppet. Mm, honestly, I hate lag, so that's, my, that's, that's, that's honestly that's just an excuse for me. Yeah, no, I like a bigger India or bigger Bharatiya commune. Maybe we'll attack the Chinese. Maybe maybe we won't go to war. The, well, I mean, we do end up war, war the uh, these guys here. That's fine, but still. It might take a long time to do So there should be at least one more after this. It's either we'll take out the Moscow Accords or take out China. It's either one of those two. We could take out the Cairo Pact, but... Meh. We could take out India, too. Or not India. We are India. Iran. And I'll just kind of try to raid our borders, maybe. Social Democrats? Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Maybe put, like, eight divisions on your max and like, just, like, just let them run into our lines. The Sultanate of Syria. Oh, Turkey lost. Look familiar, huh? Alright, well, whatever. 
And after entering the Northwest, of course, we I do want to get down here, but we gotta get Sin and Delhi, Bully Cord. Uh, let's do our clans against Nepal. Nepal expanded into this Indian t lowlands, and the chaos fell on the Valkyrie. Gets down and restarted our domain, release territories. We'll get a good war with Burma. Actually, is Burma allied with anybody? Oh. They're fighting these guys. Well, let's go to this one first. Maybe we can go to war earlier. We'll integrate the Northwest. Claim Ceylon. Ooh, that would be bad. Claim Goa. The Enclave of Goa is nothing more than a blur burr on the side of our proud nation. It's rightfully our territory and must be returned. Integrating Burma. Oh, wait. oh, we did this one first, though, because we can't declare a war against them. The eastern realm of Burma was once part of the Raj, and the time's going to incorporate into the expanding realm. What to do with the reactionary officers? We have, through the force of arms and diplomacy, eradicated the two reactionary pretender governments and proclaimed the new progressive Raj of socialist equality. Some of the non royal commission officers of our defeated enemies have expressed a desire to serve in our armed forces, and putting the nation above political concern, tempting it is, including former enemies in the Red Army, could be a dangerous thing. And like last time, with authoritarian democracy, we cannot trust those mechas. Wow, we got a lot of political power, don't we? Holy crap. Like right now, we're, though, in integrating the Bombay presidency, because we did finish integrating the Northwest, and we are at war with Burma. And the former Bombay presidency, there's a strong labor movement in Bombay City itself. This will be invaluable in commencing our progress of integration, although the interior villages and cities have a more conservative streak, nevertheless. We must decide upon a course of action when it comes to the process of integration. And let's go and just integrate as many places we possibly can. As much as I want to improve working conditions for even more stability. Now we get some weekly change anyway, so that's kind of nice. Um, whatever. But at the same time, like I said, we are at war with Burma. Even though <clears throat> it doesn't look like Siam, the Yunnan clique can really do too much about that right now anyways. But it is what it is. Uh, we're going to need a lot of... Oh, uh, trains, why not? We need, we need more steel and aluminum. So can't even go to close economy, which sucks. Uh, we could probably import a little bit more of this stuff. We have enough civvies as is for right now, generally. And Iran has gone to war with uh, the king... The Islamic State, not kingdom, but Islamic State of Afghanistan. Oh. Never mind. Iran was replaced with... Uh, with the... Okay, the Fr Russians are really strong. It's almost the French. The Mahmoud Aka Ansari. All right, well... To each other, I guess. And we did make two special Mountaineer divisions, which are 27 combo with... Basically, 3x3 three three of Mountaineers, and then 1x3, three, or 3x1, three 3x1 one, three one of uh, Artillery. So that should be pretty darn nice. Oh, here's the casualties as well. So we lost about 47,000. We lost that many guys? Huh. Only 28% war support, or well, war score, I should say. Even though we've taken... Huh. That's, that's all that worse than I thought it was for us. Kind of sucks. Oh, well. Boy of Amdo ordained 14 Dalai Lama. That's a cycle, not a change. Let's grab some of that. We'll build in some roads. We'll build in some supply down here because my goodness is it got off a oh as well. So building a lot, a lot of supply. Lots and lots of supply if we possibly can. As we're trying to raid convoys. And I lost a couple of oh, I guess we didn't lose planes, but that's alright. Um, in the meantime, uh, we're still going to try to court more stuff. Integrating the Bombay Presidency. Integrating the Deccan State. <clears throat> the Southern Princely States. We're always somewhat politically detached from the federal government in Hyderabad. This makes it harder for us to establish an efficient central administration. Nevertheless, that is what we will have to achieve. I think at this point we'll probably just go to war with China. I am justifying on the good old Chinese, but then again, we'll see what happens. Because once we go to war with one Chinese state, I'm sure the other Chinese states will want eventually to take us out too. Because we're justifying these guys in about 70 more days, which will take quite a while. Oh, and there's those, some of those guys over there. For us, I don't think 10 divisions would be enough really to hold the line over there. And you guys are already doing stuff over there. Actually, you know what? Okay, get two more railway guns. Oh, that's very nice. Let's do that. And we'll take the two railway guns. And we'll throw them over there. You all, come over here. You, come over here. And do that. Because if we do a good war with them, it'll be very torturous fighting through all that stuff. Uh, we can grab some luck as we can. Grab some infantry anti-tank. That'd be nice. Grab some more land night attack. <clears throat> And you get the Bombay Presidency. And follow it with integrating the Deccan States. Because after that, we pretty much finished off all the other focuses. Except for a couple others. So, um, In the meantime, we'll be waiting to go to war. And hopefully we can do the place of the Red Raj. With India united behind the Calcutta government and the provinces of the pretender governments brought under socialist administration, the cabinet has begun to debate what course we should take internationally. And here we are at everybody, in which right now we've gone to war with Yunnan. With funny mustache Chinese man, Tang Jiao. Which I actually have played this before in Kaz Redux. Now... I'm trying to get all these divisions out of here so we can invent instead, like, well... Oh, they're actually taking me here. Oh, look at that. 
Um, just so that we can, like, attack through here. I mean, I should, probably should have moved these guys before we went to war, but... I'm sending the horses down here just so that we can get these guys done. And, uh, yeah, we're going to war with the Chinese. Because, you know what, why not? Because we can. Yunnan. Wow. They've lost a lot of guys. And again, I, mean, I guess we're losing some guys, too. But we cored a lot of stuff already. Uh, still coring some stuff. Love to go to war economy. Can't quite do that. But we're getting some extra political power because we can. And let's go and do this, too. Because now you guys will all be up here, if we possibly can, and take you guys out. And then we'll take out Tibet. We'll see what happens. But we'll at least attempt to take out Tibet. Uh, we're going to need some serious supply through here eventually. But not looking too great right now, so we're going to keep working on it. More supply, more roads, all the good stuff, you know. And, uh, convoys? You doing okay? Not bad? Actually, horses might be able to take these guys out. Maybe not. Maybe. Can you guys actually all do that? Panama's gone. It's get, doing this, it gets rid of their entrenchment. But, I mean, it's over a river for us, which is really bad. So... Kind of hang out first. Yeah, that's really bad. If we can take these guys out, that'll be great, but we'll see. As we're still pushing into uh, Yunnan, which is nice. And they're taking out these guys. Chongqing. Federal government as well, so. Fortunately. Uh, we're also doing um, an agency. And at the same time, though, uh, I wish we could do this one. We, we have to be peaceful, which, is, which I kind of don't like. That we have to be at peace for this stuff. Because we're going to be at war for quite a while, probably, in all honesty. So, we'll see. I should convert some of these guys to Mountaineers. It's going to be pretty useful. Pretty darn useful. Man, I think I could pitch the Chongqing. That would be great. So we get a two for one. So we don't have to wait and go to war with them. But, oh wait, what is this? Oh, you know our province, huh? Okay, well, whatever. I kind of wish they would attack us, but whatever. It's fine what we're doing for now. Uh, I do want to take out Ceylon if possible, so we probably will end up war with the war of the Japanese faction. Hopefully the Russians do go to war with them. Other than that, it's been pretty peaceful. Nothing else has really happened. This looks so much better than it was earlier. Oh. Oh, hello. I'm, oh, okay. That, that worked out really quickly. Or really nicely for us. Wow. The Swedish commune. The commune of France. And now these guys... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, this PCO is not going to look very good in the end, probably. Probably. Wow, we have a lot of green up here, don't we? It's awesome. Thank you. Good, good, good. Fall Kunming. And then after that is Tibet. Chamdo. So we better begin Chamdo. Chamdo, Reno. I right, must do that one too. Pacific. Oh. All right. Collapse of the Pacific States are very nice as well. It's a wee bit ahead of time, as we are, of course, doing some nuclear research, as we should be doing. And then, uh, moreover, why not? Blueprint stealing? Because we can. Building more cities up? Because we can. Oh, they actually are attacking us just a little bit. Just a little bit. We young? That's still a core. How, how much more do we need to take from them? This is a bit extreme. We, lost, we killed 91,000. We've lost 13,000 to them, though, so. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anasia Badeo Pad Hayasa. I butchered that name so badly. I apologize. I definitely cannot pronounce some of these names. And it shows. But hey, if we get some more steel, that'd be great. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? What happened? Oh, the, oh, they're just fighting. The, oh. Oh, so now they just kind of gave up on... Didn't let them do their own thing over there. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look at that. So that could be them up there. Force it. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, that was a waste. Um, Here. Hunan, Chongqing. Uh, my clique. We won't be completely heartless, but... We deserve quite a bit of this, if I do say so myself. Now we do go to war with them, they'll take out Hunan, and they'll try to fight us too. Mongolia, these guys and these guys, and they have the Qing Sphere trying to fight. Um, not quite a few guys, actually. Poo Yi, you look really painted. Restored Emperor? Not bad. League of 
southeast provinces. Not bad, not great. Nothing really here. And of course, Zhang Zulin, so there is that guy too. Well, yeah, at least we won that war already. Which is very nice. Of course, I'd like to go to war with the Bat Flight. How much longer did you go to wait? Uh, quite a few days. Actually, that's quite a few, quite a few days. Holy crap. That's a long time, actually. Kingdom of Lan Zhang. We have Vietnam already released. Alright, whatever. And they're still attacking us just a wee bit here. And there goes the PSA. Then to the American Civil War. Look at that. Oh, darn. They're not going to go to war with us next? Come on, guys. Come on. You know you want to. Ooh. I want to make sure I don't forget about these guys, too. Make sure we got enough supply. Plenty of supply. Cool. Oh, boy. Plenty of roads. Cool. Kashmir is going to need some a lot of supply, too, but whatever. We'll get there. Rudra Murthy are here. Cool. And uh, uh, these things, we're gonna grab that, and then with that, and then I'll probably go to war with more of China. Oh, Tibet! It is time for a slight Tibetan invasion from the Bharatiya Commune. Oh, oh, whoops! My finger slipped. All right, let's go on and have a good old time. I hope it'll be a good old time. I forgot about these guys too. There you go. Go fight and then don't lose. Not necessarily win, but don't lose. And we're still sinking convoys. These guys are just just hanging out. I've already started to transport some of these guys away so that these guys hopefully attack our lines, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, that was not ideal. Could you actually win right there? You might be able to, maybe. We'll see. Or we're doing well quite there. We're doing well quite there. Should have sent the uh, cavalry this way, but... Oh, well. And additionally... Oh, yes. The Hunan clique is still not dying Yeah, We've just started justifying on the Chongqing federal government, which is going to take quite a while. Unfortunate, but oh well, it is what it is. We'll get some war propaganda against those guys. At this point, we've got no other use for political power. Maybe to raise our conscription level. We're only at volunteer only. I guess at this point we might as well. Also, off screen, we did get the British aid, so better amphibious invasion speed, better naval doctrine cost, better electronics like, research speed, and naval research speed. So, oh well, that's very, 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 very nice. Yeah, I think China would be a good goal for us. China's a nice goal. I don't want to get involved here. I don't know what they're even doing. Like, are they going to kill each other? Jacques Doriot, huh? I don't want to change here. Italy. Alcesta de Ambris. CNT. Clement. Oh. Atlee. And with the Union of Socialist American States. Zebulon Foster. William Z. Foster. Zebulon. My goodness. I don't. Whoa. Look at all these. These. No, not aggression packs. Wow, that's kind of cool, honestly. Um, but yeah, Zebulon, that's an awesome name. I love that name so much. Oh, 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 well, there goes the Dominion of Canada. By the Swedish colony and the Commune of France are coming in. Oh, look at Central America. What? Hold on. Look, we got we to fix this up. Hold on. It's a bit better. There we go. Sorry, France, I'm just taking away all your territory and all your gains. But it is what it is. It's got to be what it's got to be. Actually, are you in the... the this is a very red world. Like, all of Europe, almost all, like, Western, Central and Western Europe. Of course, us, of course. We're expanding the East. And then, you look at Africa. Holy crap. And they're fighting the Entente down here, too. That's uh, pretty darn intense. The Communist France versus those guys over there. Uh, South America is very red. Central America is very red. America is is very red. Like, holy crap. That's, in, that's, that's kind of really intense. Not going to lie. That's, that's pretty intense. Kind of cool, though. Mm, other than that, uh, as, as many of you have demanded... Oh! Tibet's gone. Oh, well, not, maybe not Tibet's, ex you know, this, the destruction of Tibet, necessarily, but... We're going to need some nuclear reactors. We absolutely going to need some nucle nucle nuclear reactors. So then we're going to war with these guys, that would be great. And, of course, like normal, we need to get more supply. So, uh, let's do this. Oh, you actually have something up there already, which is actually pretty good. There you go. Get a lot of that connected. All those stuff would be connected would be very, very good. And honestly, around here, it's not terrible. We could use one more here and connect from here to here. I know there's a railroad right here, but just in case, getting extra supply through here would be quite nice. But the fate of Tibet. 
After a successful campaign in the Tibetan Plateau, we now have to have a task of uh, uh, establishing a new local administrative authority in order to restore peace. However, several options. Restore independent Tibet. Restore greater Tibet, which wouldn't be bad. Oops, my finger slipped. Oh no, our stability went down. Whatever will we do? We'll research modern subs. As that's what all the good people would definitely, definitely do. Well, time to go to war with the Chongqing federal government too now. <clears throat> They're out with Mongolia, of course, and the Ma clique, but we shouldn't have too many issues, right? Right? Well, maybe we will. Let's see what happens when we do that. Looks like it's a lot of green, but it's only the beginning. And we do this as well. We do have 30 divisions on the side. Uh, oh, we do need to go to war with these guys too. So we'll see. And we'll go to war with Mongolia. Uh, we'll just see how we do. Because even though we're fighting over rivers, which it does kind of suck, we should have green air already. And we should have actually radar here too. Uh, this one, yeah, that's better. Just in case. Just in case. If we don't do well here, then it is what it is. But are we just finding anybody else? I do want to take out Nepal. I really want Nepal. I mean, I save them for the, we might save them for the end for Japan. Also, Paris and Moscow did go to war with each other, and it looks like Russia's winning so far. Which is not very good for us, I guess, but, you know. It's a somewhat Red World. Red World, Red World. It's a good mod. Pretty good mod. Let's see. Level 4. Level 4. 4. Oh, only 3. That sucks. Good enough for now. Nice. Good stuff. Very good stuff, actually. Goodbye. Goodbye. See, double check it. Cool. Very nice. Oh, we're good. And if we can't win too well here, well, then whatever. Burma. Wow. Uh, these guys have lost quite a few guys. We've only killed 26,000. We've lost 104,000, but... Yeah, taking out John Ching is going to take a little bit more than I thought it would, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Whatever. Y'all hold. You guys keep doing what you can do against Ma Kalik and, of course, Mongolia eventually once you get up there. But they're doing, well, honestly, quite well, I would say. I don't know how much... Actually, we do have these guys, too, we can think about. But, let's see. Chongqing. Yeah, throw both of you in there. Why not? Maybe we'll learn a thing or two about how much they have. Up to 85 divisions. A million manpower. No convoys, which makes sense. Stockpile, not entirely sure. They are attacking us a little bit, and we were defeated. That kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Um, beat them back up and grab some more uh, guns because we love guns on this channel we absolutely love guns the more guns the more happy fun times some might say but we're doing definitely okay ish Maclique how strong is Maclique uh, not bad not bad at all we'll see we shall definitely see can you not win here? Especially with those Mountaineers. Uh, I guess it is Mountains, but yeah, with the Mountaineers, we should do pretty darn well, I would suppose, right? Ooh, don't start losing, guys. Don't start losing too much. No, that's not good, man. I think it's... Oh, they're actually... They want to force the attack, huh? Well, just like China, we do have a lot of manpower, so I'm not super concerned about losing men. Especially if we keep pushing up this way, too. Um, so we'll see. I don't want to take a lot of losses, I and mean, you don't ever want to fight a land war in Asia, but... Oh, well. And we're still building up nuclear reactors. Like, that'd be really good. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of nuclear reactors. Both go there. If you want a supply base in Guiyang, then you you will fight and die for it, quite literally. Good. Chongqing, of course. Zambezia. Oh, Greece looks so nice. I love how bigger Greece like that. That's so nice. Uh, the Russians have definitely been slowed down. They're still advancing, but they're definitely slowed down. Interesting. And what else we got around here? Anything else? Yeah, it's definitely very costly to do it like this, but whatever. We're India. It's fine. We gotta go through it slowly. If they want to force defense. That's fine with me. I'd rather just destroy the divisions, for the most part. Uh, 
Um, there you go. Cool. Yes. Oh, they're actually taking us too. Look at that, huh? Zining. I mean, how I'm mean, sure I'm sure they got a lot of guns still. Um, they have no convoys. Stockpile. Okay, so we, okay, these guys are out of guns. That's good to see. That's actually really good to see. Which means we're gonna go on the offensive and force the attack because they cannot. They literally cannot replace everything that they have currently. So, of course, fighting with the river does suck, but like I said, we got enough manpower. It doesn't matter. And they're still fighting Daniel, which does suck an incredible amount. Come on, guys. Do better. So I'm only doing the Cairo pack, so be it. Goody, 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 goody. Taking you on would be really nice, but whatever. We've only lost 200,000 men, that's all. That's all. So got anti air, anti tank. No guns, no artillery, nothing like that at all. Cool. Where are we? Cool. Stack them up even more. Yan on. Cool. Boy, is it a butchery here in China. Oh boy. What the butchery. Help me out, help me out. Good that they want to attack us. Chengdu needs to be ours. Um, Mechanized, I guess, maybe. Here, more steel, more guns, maybe. Interrogation techniques. More stuff at Chengdu, perhaps? Hmm, they do want to beat us up there. Chengdu. You should eat. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. 1v1, you should be fine. You guys gonna grab the Pasha Suhang? Yeah. Nice. And that should be it. I'm gonna take all this stuff, too. I'm not gonna give Hunan anything. If it wasn't for us, they'd be dead. Nice! Oh, we're not at war with Mongolia. God dang it. I forgot to go to war with them, too. No, I did say give them stuff. But did I lie? Maybe I did. Eh, whatever. I'll take it. Alright, not bad. The bar... Oh, wow. We go all the way up to here now? Holy crap. Man, if we could get 100% compliance to China, that'd be pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. That'd be pretty darn awesome. But, let's see, you guys are going to garrison against these fine Chinese folks. We're going to keep processing for more guns and such and whatnot. And I might have to do some funky stuff to make sure things actually get done down here, because, my goodness, this is taking forever to do anything here. You want to try to attack us, but we'll see. Um, in the meantime, let's put some supply bases down. Actually, we're doing really well on nuclear stuff. Uh, go right there, maybe. Go right there. Of course, go right there, too. Oh, there goes the second Mahadis Revolt. Very nice. Drop it down there. I know I'm making a mess of this, but it's kind of just because I want to. There you go. No? No? Oh, that's foreign territory. Oops, my bad. Oh, yeah. That's definitely foreign territory. But other than that, uh, yeah, I think I'll do some fucking stuff down here, and then we can probably get this one done as well. Burmese territories, claim Ceylon, and the place of the Red Rush. But I think I'll end it there. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what you think about a better intelligence agency name for a red in the or the bar to come. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will push ahead and can take out more of China as we'll watch Europe literally kill itself. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.